This morning I'm away to go and collect my car. There was only £150 to pay and that was like some sort of excess charge which I would have had to pay anyway if I'd taken out the extended warranty. So the extended warranty it seems to me that it's uh, that it costs even more than what um, you'd pay for it initially uh, because they seem to charge you excess charges. I don't know if they'd do that for all repairs but it uh, seems that they, they may only do it for more expensive repairs. I'm not exactly sure how it all works. But I've checked connected drive, my car's sitting fully charged so I'll be on my way to get it just then. So it's nice to see they've gotten at least a little bit of snow this year. But unfortunately it's all over uh, near Dunfermline. There isn't very much at all back from uh, where I came from, so yeah, that's not good. I think we had a power cut earlier as well because my alarm clock in my room had reset itself too. Uh, and also yesterday a lorry overturned on the bridge. The bridge was closed but a lorry went through anyway and then got blown over by the wind and caused damage to the middle of the bridge but they fixed that overnight so the bridge is open today at least I'm hoping it is anyway it says it was on the website but some ignorant truck driver was either trying to hit targets or what I don't know but uh, he risked his life to, to cross a bridge when it was closed like that which is uh, pretty stupid also when you consider all, all the massive amounts of disruption that it caused having the fourth road bridge closed you have to go by a Kincardine or, or uh, some other bridge and it could add over an hour onto a journey to Edinburgh Ok so here's what's been done uh, um, this would have cost um, £1,400 if uh, they hadn't agreed to cover most of the cost, all I had to pay is 150 But it just seems to have been damaged to a wiring loom, that's all it was. A small chaff mark on the wiring. Uh, so that's a bit strange. To be honest with you, I think this is probably going to come back again. Because I think there are... Um, I think there could be other other issues further down the line, but I certainly hope not. And at this stage, I'm feeling that the only the only option really is to sell this car and and go to something else because it probably it probably will happen again. And if anything else does go wrong with this car, it's going to cost huge amounts of money to get fixed. So. I just think I'm going to have to go with maybe the Nissan Leaf for the new Hyundai electric car because uh, this car, I'm, I'm frightened to go any long distance in it because the, the serious unreliability of the range extender. The new Nissan Leaf has a bigger battery and it could go a decent range on, on a charge, I think about um, maybe 120 miles real world so I think that might be my next option 